Stan Gibalisco here to describe how an antenna trap works. Have you ever heard of an antenna trap? For example, a trap vertical. If you read QST magazine, you've doubtless seen advertisements for trap verticals. They're a popular type of antenna on ham radio bands because you can easily make them work on multiple bands without having to switch anything. What I'm showing here right now is a very simple design for a vertical antenna. This red thing is the radiating element connected to the center conductor of your coax. Here is your shield connected to this ground system. You might want to droop these radials or if you mount the thing directly on the ground you might want to have more than four of them. Maybe a hundred of them. A quarter of a wavelength long each on the lowest frequency band that you plan to use. There's another thing that you can do too. This is a 10 meter and 20 meter trap vertical that I'm showing you here as an example. So you might have four radials each resonant on 20 meters. That means they'd be 16 feet. And then four more resonant on 10 meters. They'd be 8 feet. That'd be even better than just having a radial, or you can mount it on the ground and just put the longest, most numerous radial uh, contraption you can possibly get buried under your, under your yard. But here's the way that the trap works. It is a parallel resonant LC circuit, inductance capacitance, resonant at 10 meters right in the center of the 10 meter band. This acts as a band stop filter on 10 meters. Remember, a parallel resonant circuit will act as a, will create a peak if it's par in parallel with the circuit that it's operating in. But if you connect a parallel resonant circuit in series with the operating circuit, like this arrangement, it acts as a band stop filter. resonant at a frequency F of 28.85 megahertz. So the lower section of this antenna, which is one quarter of a wavelength on 10 meters electrically, can't send its signal past this trap. This trap pretty much tops out the antenna on 10 meters to just this part. But on any other frequency, signals can get through this trap, including on 20 meters. Well, when you make this uh, section, this might be four feet, I'm just making a good guess, but you make this section such that the top section, the coil, and the bottom section all together resonate on, say, 14.175 megahertz. Then you have a two-band trap vertical. Now you can use more than one trap to get three, four, even five-band trap verticals if you are so predisposed, but the adjustment of those things gets kind of complicated. But it's done all the time in commercially manufactured antennas and you just set it up to the dimensions that they tell you to and it should work. But that's how a trap antenna generally works, is this trap acts as a choke or a band stop filter on certain bands so that only certain parts of the antenna below that trap can function on that band. If you had another trap up here, say, resonant on, um, oh, let's say it was resonant on 20 meters, and then you extended the vertical up further so that the whole thing would resonate on 40 meters, but at 20 meters it would stop it at this height, then you'd have a three-band trap vertical. So that is the concept. A trap is a band stop filter that tops your antenna out at a frequency that you choose, which is the resonant frequency of that inductance capacitance parallel circuit. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. Signing off for now, saying 73 and so long.